Hello Virgo, happy January 2019. All right, so let's see what the cards have to say for you guys. I already set the intention for Virgo. Virgo rising, Virgo birth sign, Virgo north node, Virgo moon. Find out where Virgo is in your chart. Uh, pause the video. You have a question. You know why you're here. You're watching. And uh, we'll just see what pops up. All right. Maybe one card will answer a question you want. A little more clarity on. The first week, Ace of Rods, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So there's a lot of moving on the right path. Okay, Strength card, Two of Staves, Ten of Staves, Three of uh, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. Um, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, and Five of Spades. So the first week is about really fighting for yourself and for um, your will to really live a happy life and to um, have better relations with, with groups of people or family, okay? And also um, anything to do with um, money or prosperity or anything to do with finances. You want to get those on track in the... Uh, first week of the new year, you know, the first two weeks, and these things are, are on our minds. And finding someone, the strength card is saying, finding someone that could help you to um, feel more powerful. Now, you don't have to be the perfect opposite um, zodiac to vibe with a person, but, you know, the strength card represents Leo. So you can think of this as, okay, um, Maybe a Leo that is very um, powerful, just like you are, and will uplift you and give you guidance. Or maybe someone else that's strong. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but someone else that can match your energy when you need that lifting up or whatever. But it's someone that's going to be, you're, you're, end up, you're end up going to get someone that's going to be truthful to you, whether you like it or not. And it's about you also you know, having an idea of what you want, um, sharing it and just being open and say, hey, you know, this is my my thing, you know, or finding someone you can talk to that, you know, is, is, is professional to help you with whatever uh, the situation is to help guide you. And this Ace of Rods energy is pushing uh, to the end because the first and the last card, you know, so it's telling a story and it's more like, okay, what's going to be the conflict or or the um the challenging energy if you will playing around type of energy right so you know the first week is more of trying to put yourself on the right path for the first two weeks the second two weeks is about really doing so much that it caused a heartache whether it's a love relationship or uh whoever you are having the um, issue with, okay? And maybe you're trying to do too much or, or trying to work things out so much that it's end up going to cause more trouble, more heartache, and, um, you know, someone that could potentially help you is I feel like it's it's the person that is as powerful as you are that's the issue okay the person that is as powerful in their own right as you are so they're not really going to let go of how they're feeling right so you're having this type of battle with someone that is just as powerful as you are you know, and they're sticking to what and how they feel. So trying to find out, okay, what does this person want? You know, where are we going to see eye to eye? So it's probably just not seeing eye to eye with someone. And if you feel trapped, 
it's it's really your inability to see eye to eye with this person for whatever the reason is it's, you know some someone could be right someone could be wrong there could be on both sides it could be um really it just not working and the knight of swords is like you know that this is going to go one way and it's just going to keep playing out in the same way and there's like really no clear resolution so just setting the intention with three more cards to see what the solution is for this and the solution is again it's like feeling trapped it's like that this is now the eight of swords so it's a worry it's more like a worry here and then eight of swords feeling trapped by yourself and i was picking up on that too um the hangman is eventually seeing uh seeing it at a different perspective but then whatever the situation is this eight of cups is like just walk away and leave it because it's not going to work out you know either you're going to leave you're going to say hey let's forget this argument and find a solution for it but or you know it's just not a good match up with whoever the person is if it's someone that's new in your life that you're having this issue with then it's just not going to work okay so it's just cut, cutting your losses and um you know if it's between you and that one person it's like it's not going to um work so make sure that you, you know if you're picking someone to live with or a partner or um it's work related it's just knowing that it's not going to be a good team and just do the best you can if it's something that you can easily walk away from then definitely walk away from that okay so um yeah and i'm not sure if i said this in the beginning of the video but the new moon is january 5th capricorn good time for grounding work business um full moon on january 20th and cancer good for um attraction self-healing water uh, energy work um home and family cleansing self-love self-healing all of that all right so happy january thank you guys for watching see you next